Hello everyone, welcome to Rush the Wash. My name is Miguel and today I'm going to teach you how to paint Space Marines. But first, let's break it down to three rules. Rule number one, our standard is for playing with the miniatures. Rule number two, no special tools, no special techniques, very easy and simple. Rule number three, we got 10 minutes to paint each miniature, max. It's time to start Rush the Wash. For today's chapter, we're gonna do Imperial Fists. So we're gonna start with Cassander Yellow and a big brush. A soft tip one will do wonders on this case. If yellow has been one of those colors you hate painting, give me a like now. Next, I'm gonna use Iron Breaker and a smaller brush to paint the bolt gun. Not all of it, it has the metallic parts on it. The vents on the generator and the details which are metallic on the scabbard for the knife. Your miniature might have different metallic parts, so please go ahead and paint them now. I'm gonna get now Contrast Blood Angels. And with this one, I'm going to paint some of the details in the miniature that are red. The trim on the shoulder pads, the trim on the knee pads, the Aquila Imperialis, and the Purity Seals. The parts that should be in black in this miniature, I'm gonna start by painting it with Griff Charger. And after this dries, you will see that I'm going to use Basilic Cannon Grey to darken them. As you can see, I have painted some of it silvery before, but it doesn't matter. I can paint on top of it with a thick coat of this paint, Grave Charger, and it will not make a big difference. All the details that need painting are also the belt and the ammunition pouches, as well as the scabbard of the knife. Moving on to the next step, I'm going to use my favorite brush, which is Seraph Incipia. And in this case, I'm going to use a more detailed brush and just go in between the recesses of the armor plates. I don't care if I stain things around them, because that way I think it's going to make the marine look a little bit more dirty, more battle wary. If you want a cleaner look, then you have to be more careful on this step. While I was doing the weathering, now the previous gray wash, the Griffon Charger wash is already dry, so now we can darken it with Basilicano Gray. You just need a simple coat of it on top and it's gonna make it look a very nice gray and it's gonna give you the instant highlights in all those small pieces. I'm gonna use now Non Oil to darken the metal and the reason I'm using Non Oil is because it's not as thick as Basilicano Gray and that way I'm gonna achieve a different look on the metal. Now with white scar, I'm going to pick up some of the details here and there and get them back to white. There's a small parchment on the ball gun that I need to clean up. The eyes need to be painted white. There's another parchment on the shoulder pad that I want to clean up as well. And I also want to highlight the purity seal. With a thicker brush, a bigger one, and with the paint mixed with water, I'm gonna recover the color of the base. Now I'm gonna use my Maestro Kolinsky Da Vinci and that's because I'm going to paint fine details. With contrast warp lining, I'm gonna pick up the eyes and paint them green, achieving a very nice lens effect. Because I didn't have the transfer for the chapter symbol, I actually had to freehand it. But if you want to actually paint this fast, this is absolutely unnecessary. Just get the transfers, use the transfers, you will get a very nice result and you don't have to do this manually. I wrote the scripts on the different parchments and purity seals, it's very easy. You actually don't have to write anything legible, as long as it looks like letters, any kind of squibble will do a trick. Our main aim here is to paint miniatures that we're gonna play with, and you usually don't look that close to them, so it doesn't really matter if you write anything, because the scripture is not going to be seen at the distance of around 3 to 6 feet that people is going to stand apart from them. Now we're going to use Runefang Steel to gain a little bit of highlight and contrast on the metallic different uh, details that we have on the miniature. 
So here we have an Aquila Imperialis, the small one on the Baldron. Then we have these small vents on the backpack that I want to highlight. And obviously I did the same thing with the ball gun here and there, achieving a nice shiny result on the weapon as well. Almost there, we just need to work a little bit on the base. I use a skeleton horde for the base. I painted my sand, which was primed beforehand. And after I'm done with the skeleton horde and this has dried, I'm gonna give it a second coat of Agrax Earthshade. Now, while that is still drying, I'm going to use Abaddon Black to paint the trim on the base with this color. If you have enjoyed the video thus far, please consider giving me a like and subscribing to the channel. I put tutorials up all the time on how to paint fast and easy with washes. So I want to go the extra mile, I never stop at that. I want to put some bushes, some foliage on the base. You can get this outstanding product by checking the links below. And what I do is I mix some PVA glue with water and the bushes themselves and I achieve this small mixture that I apply to the base directly whenever I feel like it. The good thing with PVA is that it allows you to correct any mistakes that you made before it dries. Once the PVA has dried, I want to cover my miniature with a nice coat of varnish that is going to protect it from the rigors of gaming. Less is more with these two products. So we start with a gloss coat, give it a thin layer, wait for it to dry, and then we go to the dull coat and finish it off. Overall, it took me longer to decide what colors to use here and there than to paint the miniature itself. Once I knew exactly what I wanted to achieve, it took me more or less like 10 to 15 minutes, not considering the time for drying, to finish this one. So I think a squad in 90 minutes is absolutely feasible. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe to my channel. I put up tutorials all the time and I'm gonna cover many other Loyal Space Marine chapters in upcoming tutorials. My name is Miguel, this is Rush the Watch, thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye!